and let's welcome home the IIM Udaipur final results. My alma mater, IIM Udaipur, the final admission results are out. I'm really excited about this video because I'll be walking you through some very interesting things about IIM Udaipur and obviously towards the end, the IIM Udaipur waitlist movement, also good insights on the IIM Udaipur placements and everything. So this video is going to be good for you if you're somebody who's considering IIM Udaipur. Hi, I'm Tarpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur. I've been the MBA product head at Career Launcher and I help MBA students create fulfilling careers without depending on placements. So first of all, the ones who've converted IIM Udaipur, a very big congratulations to you. You would be heading to a very good place should you choose to go to IIM Udaipur. And the ones who are in the waitlist, I'm sure this will convert. I hope you do really well at other B schools as well. And you will make it somewhere. I'm pretty sure about that. Now with that, let me take you through the IIM Udaipur placements and, and everything about that. Now let's start off with the data which you know IIM Udaipur placements. This is undoubtedly the best new IIM out there. Jo paanch, chhe, naye, IIM hai, IIM Udaipur, Ranchi, Rautak, Raipur, Kashi, Trichy. Un sab mein se, this is the best. The reason why I'm saying this is not just because I feel that it's the best and so therefore it's the best because my know that you know there is a reason for that. The placement data which you're seeing is audited. IIM Udaipur has always had its placement reports audited. This is unlike most other new IIMs and despite being audited, the average salary of I am Udaipur has crossed 20 LPA. That is the achievement. Unaudited placement. See, again, you have to understand this. The reason why I need to lay emphasis on this is because now you will be having this confusion that, okay, whether I should go to I am Udaipur or I am T or I am Raipur or I am Rotak or I am Kashipur, I am Rachi, where should I go? And therefore, I would also say subscribe to the channel because I am from a new I am. I will be making a very detailed comparison video across new I am's also across baby I am's. Bohut important is subscribe it so that you will see me in your feed frequently. Now, the reason why this is important is that because I know most of you will be evaluating these IMs on the basis of placements. Therefore, this is important. 20 lakhs cross karawa IM Udaipur ek IIM hai new IMs mein jo ki audited placement reports ke saath aata hai. To agar ye 20 lakh keh rahe hai, as you can see, ye 20 lakh hai. Whereas if it's an unaudited placement report, I can write whatever I want. I can write an 18 lakh, a 19 lakh, a 20 lakh, a 21 lakh. Nobody cares because that's more like a marketing brochure which is the case with most other institutes therefore you need to see this the medians are in blue the averages are in 20 i always advise my students to look at the median because that is a more balanced data for you to see also one very interesting thing i am udaipur ki ek aur you know ek aur kafi interesting cheez is average mein jo ye 20 wala average which you can see this does not have even one international offer please go to the placement report and you will see is saal international offers nahi the is saal sirf last year the now kyo tha aisa kya nahi tha i have no idea about that but what i'd suggest you is that instead of seeing it as a chai international offers nahi aaye is bar wahan se kyo waise bhi teen char paanch hi aate hain what you need to see as a plus in this is because ki bhai international offers which are much more larger offers uske bawajood bhi agar aaye mudaipur ne domestic offers ke basis pe 20 lakh cross kar li average it's a big big deal this is an institute which is a rocket ship it's growing like crazy i know it moving on from there let's understand one more thing now thoda aur deep dive karte hain ki kis kisam ki placement hai kya hai 2 saal ka data de diya hai maine aapko ye authentic placements data hai now if you we look at 21 to 23 which is the latest you can see that the highest number of offers obviously like any other new ims would be in sales and marketing and business development which is also sales that is the idea then you have consulting and strategy again i would like to highlight this again except for an accenture strategy other consulting are not the front end ones. Yes, Accenture strategy jab bhi humare yaha pe aata hai ya fir at I am Udaipur jab bhi aata hai it does offer front end roles. Apart from this, these are not front end roles. I would advise you again to go through the placement report of it. Yes, some consulting startups, some niche consulting firms do offer front end roles. So when I am saying front end roles nahi hai, I am only speaking about the MBB firms. That's it. Uske alawa front end roles honge, zaroor honge. This is not only true for I am Udaipur but also for all the other smaller IMs. That's that. Then, if you were to see in terms of salary, now again, this is the median salary. This is not the average salary. In terms of median salary, obviously consulting offers the highest salary. If you remember my video from IMT, Trichy, jiska bhi abhi you have 
seen this the highest salaries were not in consulting which means what the very fact that consulting may either 19.5 is the highest that you know that somewhere means proportionately shy thode front end roles i am udaipur mein fir bhi zyada honge is what i can think about i don't know this this is not a final this thing ki aisa hi hai i don't know i am very frankly saying this i am only trying to interpret it now from there you have offers from product and project management you will understand that why in my subsequent slides because good size you know good proportion of engineers are there and then you have it analytics you have hr ops supply chain and all of those things yes i am udaipur is bit more known for supply chain and ops the reason for that is because the founding director of i am udaipur who stayed there for 10 years two terms straight was a ops faculty at i am bangalore hence he made that kind of a culture over there so that is what you can see over here moving on from there a bit of idea about the batch size it you know it has been the same across the last 4 5 years it, it has been around 320 to 330 which is what you can see now moving on from there this is what i was trying to say to you that the percentage of engineers has been consistently dropping which just shows that there is more diversity now which is happening at an iim udaipur campus so this is good this is a heartening news that iim udaipur is giving more emphasis on how they can build much more diversity and not only stock up engineers now this also shows about the intent of the institute i'll tell you how as i've shared in one of my other videos that an institute is basically a marketplace it needs to stock more products which means you which it can sell well now it's a fact it might offend a few you know a few of you that engineers are slightly more easier to sell to their clients who are these clients the corporates who come for the placements who engineers are easier to sell ye ek fact hai kahin na kahin the very fact that the engineers are dropping and a new i am is taking this initiative that no we know that okay we can sell the engineers more however we are more about how can we give our corporates a much more balanced pool of students that shows more about the intent of the institute and then you can also see that the percentage of freshers is also a sizable amount one third of the batches freshers freshers get good job in sales and marketing and pd and all of those places so this is good now from there i would move on to the waitlist data which is what i know that you've been waiting for however before i move there one very important announcement for those who've made it to iim udaipur who you know who have a final admission offer also for the ones who are in the waitlist of iim udaipur or any other new iim there is what it is you know about my course how to be school it's a pre mba program it's a program to give you a detailed walk through of your mba to maximize the outcome because the cap results are out i am running a special offer 500 off on the pro plus in this program i take you through everything regarding the academics at these iims the extra curricular activities how are the placements like what are the summer placements like how can you build a good resume some snippets on that how do you build friendships all of these things are there so what i would advise you is that find the link in the description go here read this page and also because the cap results are out for the next 3 days i'm running a special offer only on the pro plus plan which you'll see over here 500 off on the pro plus plan so if you're somebody who's interested to enroll for this go ahead and check this out and now i'll head on to the i am udaipur waitlist movement and here it is now as you can see i have data across two years you can make out from the general waitlist trend itself that what it is like and these numbers has you know have been similar except for a few categories for example the e ws and also the sc and st so you can see you can have an understanding now again as you know me i do not speculate i never predict is saal kya hoga kya nahi hoga if you've seen my other videos the reason why you can't speculate is because these colleges like i am udaipur raipur trichy rohtak they give buffer calls bhar bhar ke bhar bhar ke matlab isme bhi jo 500 move hui hogi inhone kam se kam 1000 extra final admission offers de diye honge fir ja ke 500 move hui hogi so kis institute ne kitne extra calls first list mein diye hain you can not know you can only know it afterwards when you file an rti so i will not speculate it this is what you have in front of you just wait for a few days because wait lists will now keep happening every 4 days 5 days and you know the next few weeks are going to be anxious weeks therefore i know do not stress about it what i would simply advise you is that subscribe to the channel because now on my channel not only will i be bringing you videos on where to go but also what skills you need to build starting from right now subscribe to the channel check out my course how to be school that might help you thanks a lot and goodbye